what are the function and significance of business partners okay so when I'm talking about partner so let me show you something practical and then I will come back to this screen okay so if I open even in the sales order okay in the sales order if I show you um, So if I go to header and partners, it can it will show me the different partners like who is a sold to party, who is a bill to party, who is a payer, who is a ship to party. Okay, so I have discussed this one before. Like what is sold to party? Sold to party is basically the customer. Then we have bill to party. So bill to party can be a different different uh, 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 company. Okay, and a different number that will be the where should we should send the invoice okay and the payer payer could be a different again who will be paying for this order and ship to party ship to party could be like where we want to deliver the goods for the sales order it could be a different address as well okay so by default system will take the main customer as a bill to party payer and ship to party but we have the option to change it in the um, in the customer master okay so even if they, they can be different at item levels. If I select one item, go to item partner. So it can be different here as well. Okay, it can be different if you want. Okay, so these are the partners. So again, if I show you the customer master record, if I go to VD02, press enter. Sales area data, partner function. <coughs> Here you can see all the different partner functions. Same thing which is copied to our sales order. Okay, so, so when we enter a customer in the sales order, system will copy all the partners and everything into the sales order. And you can see it's also copying other stuff like uh, what is the currency, what is the shipping point, what is the delivering plant and all that. Okay, so similarly it's copying the partner function. Okay, so these are the partner functions. So let me go back to this slide. So we have different types of uh, business partners. Okay, so like um, customer could be vendor, could be contact person. Okay, so here we're just looking at at um, like sold to party ship to party but we can have something else okay so if i show you the the list in the customizing if i go to spro and uh, sales and distribution sales um, no, sorry, not here. Basic functions and partner determination. Set a partner. Here again, the same thing for customer, sales order, header, item, delivery, and all that. So let me open customer first. So again, they have, their fundamentals are again same. Okay, so here you can see different types of. If I click on, click on this partner function. So you can see different types of partners we can create. So for example, here you can see the sold to party, ship to party, bill to party and all that. But we can create our own or there are also some standard in the system. So this one is ship to party. Um, this is bill to party. Okay, so we're using bill to party, we're using payer and all that. Okay, but this is a big list here and we can use any of them in our in our uh, uh, partner function and if something is that we want to uh, create or assign and it's not in the standard system we can create our own as well okay so you can see like sender forwarding agent position responsible okay and if I scroll down there should be much some more uh, location employee user responsible store and all that okay so these are the different types of um, business partners 
we we can use in our partner partner determination procedure so again <clears throat> um, what happens is if i click on this partner determination procedure assignment you can see that partner determination procedure is assigned to the account group okay now what is account group so account group is let me remind you again that when we create a new customer like x01 when we creating a new customer first we need to select account group okay so account group is what we want to create we want to create a sold to party we want to create a bill to party we want to create a payer or a good recipients and could be something else you can see here okay so these are the different account groups okay so like sold to party is account group so bill to party is a different account group okay so system will create generate a number for that one okay so that's your account group so all these determination procedure are assigned to the different account groups for example sold to party could have a different uh, procedure but good recipient could have a different one payer could have a different one and and like that okay so that's what this slide is saying that partner determination uh, partner types are assigned to different account groups okay so i'll show you customizing in a minute so for a business partner you have seen that we have partner function like sold to party ship to party bill to party pair but as i said you can have a contact person as well you can add contact person into that list you can add forwarding agent you can add employee responsible or you can add something that is not in the center system but you can create your own and add it okay so i will show you this one in a minute so okay uh yep let let's see this slide as well and then i'll show you customizing so whatever partners are there in the customer master they are proposed in the sales order creation or any order creation okay for example we can um we can um uh, we can create a different types of uh, partners in the customer master like sold to party bill to party ship to party pair or something else and then all of them will be assigned to a customer okay when we sorry to a order when we create a order so system will copy all the partners from uh, from the customer to the order okay again if you want we can have a different um uh, different uh, different partner for item level we can customize it we can say that okay that for order we have this uh, partner function but for items we can say that can so for items I, what happens is item will take the partner from the order I, so let me show you that here so so we have customer here and customer has different uh, partner function okay so what will happen is when we create a sales order from this customer for this customer so sales order system will copy all the partner function from the customer okay so all the partner function you can see in the sales order they coming from customer then sales order has a header and also a item okay so what happens is all the partner function here they are basically here okay in the header and item will copy all the head, all the partner function from header to item as well okay for, for if it has one item two item or 10 items it will copy the partner function from header to item like this um i think i've removed the sales order let me open any sales order so you can see if i go to header part partners i have these partners here which are coming from the customer master if i go back one step if i select first item so all these items are copying partner from header if i go to item partner you can see these partners okay now you can see they are grayed out here that means i can't change it okay so we can customize the system so that can we change can these partners could be different from header or not okay we can customize this for this is for this system uh, the current customizer is saying that we cannot change it we cannot make it different from the header that's why they are grayed out 
okay if you can allow it if you if you allow it then you should be able to change it here